All right, hi, this is Jerry Foster. We're here at the Lakeland Knife Show, Gator Cutlery. Puts it on every year, and uh, it's one of the better shows we, we go to uh, throughout the country. And uh, today we want to talk about some uh, handle material that were case made. And we're going to talk about stag handles and uh, some of the variations that they made over the years. The first knife here is uh, what's called genuine burnt stag, made of deer antler. Got a lot of character, and so they're all going to look different. And uh, heavily used in the early years of knife making. They don't use it as much now. Apparently it's in high demand and hard to get, but there's still people that get good stag. It's just that um, Case doesn't use as much as they used to. This next one here is called Red Stag, and that's where they take and dye it with a little red color. And it's um, quite a bit rarer than the regular stag and a lot more desirable. People love this red stag, just pretty stuff. And they used that up until probably the 70s maybe, I'm not sure. They might even use a little now, now again, but it's not too often that they use red stag, but it was always rare. This next one is gonna be called second cut stag. And it's where they made a, the second cut of the bone. And they take that second cut and they put the jigs in and they have some worm grooves and whatnot and they dyed it. And there was two versions they called second cut bone was dyed a browner color and second cut stag was dyed more of an orange color. And they used that a lot back in the uh, USA era mostly, I think. And those are the three types of handle materials that we're showing you today. This is a Congress pattern, four blade, big Congress. They use these uh, second cut on these blades, of these knives, the second cut was used on these Congress knives, a fair amount, and also on a trapper pattern. But it's real rare too and very desirable because it's so pretty. But the red stag is another one's probably a little more rare than even the second cut, just because they just make a lot of it. And then the regular old burnt stag, which is still very highly desirable in a knife. Is this unusual pattern, this, this one here? This guy right here, this is called a 47 pattern. It's a big stockman, um, or a, actually a medium stockman, so to speak. But it's, uh, it's highly collectible, not as rare as some patterns, but it was just highly collectible. Same thing with the Congress. It's really highly collectible, and they go for big bucks, the Congress patterns. And everybody wants to know some of the prices on these. Can you give us a rough idea? I mean, I can give you a rough idea, you know. Um, I would have to look them up, but, you know, I go from the hundreds of dollars to the thousands and thousands of dollars. Congress brings the money. These guys bring a little less. These guys even more or less because they're a smaller stockman than the 75. This is a 92 pattern. Okay, and you guys are still collecting, buying and selling? Always. Okay, all right. Appreciate it very much, Jerry. Yes, sir. Thank you.